G'day folks. Oh, it's been one of them weeks again. Not a lot of content come out, but hey, at least I had a bit of a good, uh, good week at work. Very busy um, and very enjoyable work doing custom engineering jobs, that sort of thing. I know everyone asks me to disclose what kind of work I do, but I can't elaborate too much. But um, well, I don't want to. I definitely don't want to reveal my employer or anything like that. But I uh, work in the swim swimming pool industry. Uh, you might ask why a swimming pool industry needs a fitter and turner come welder engineer. Well, railings and pool cover systems all require parts machined from stainless steel and that sort of thing, as well as assembly and that sort of stuff. So that's generally what I do. I work in the engineering shop, which does all the cover systems, both manual and automatic or electrically remote controlled, like built up under deck or at the end of the pool, that sort of thing. Um, we also do uh, hand railings, things like that. Um, just general fabrication, pits, pump, pump room stuff. I make brackets for pumps to mount on the wall. Um, I make machines to aid in winding up like Olympic size swimming pool covers. Um, DC motor stuff, it's all got to be DC because it's pool side, no 240 volts, no mains voltage. So it's all DC gear drives and things like that. High wall mounted rollers with remote control, um, RF radio frequency tubular motors and other cool stuff like that. It's really fascinating and interesting stuff. So there's a lot of alley welding, that sort of thing. So yeah, I've had a pretty busy week. Uh, one guy, one of the guys is out, in, out on site. Uh, one of the other guys has been out in the truck quite a lot. So it's pretty much me doing the work of two people at the moment. So been very busy but it's very enjoyable work at the end of the day. I love what I do. I love the engineering and welding that sort of thing. Wish I could show you what I've been working on lately but again it's all uh, proprietary information and custom jobs like it's a tw it's a twenty five thousand dollar job I believe just making this cover or pit um, lift up pit lids and roller system under under deck so you can walk over the top of it and then you lift the lids up drag the blanket out or wind it back in again using bevel gear drives and things. It's loads of fun. Um, anyway, that's enough information on that one. Uh, that's sort of... I know a bunch of people ask me why a pool company needs an EDM, Electrical Discharge Machine Centre, but it's all to do with drive adapters and stuff like that. It's essentially all it's for is just burning splined drive adapters for DC motors and things like that. So that's essentially what we use an EDM for. It's for just doing blind keyways and blind splines and stuff that you can't really do on a broach. Or you could do it on a broaching machine, but by the time you get paid to get it all set up, the quantity's just not there. So for the two and a half grand we spent on the new EDM, which I will get a video of, um, yeah, it's pretty good. So anyway, as you can see, PLC rack powers up and works. I've got my link couplers and everything as well. Um, but I don't have... A, I don't have a keypad for that little uh, human interface module. This thing, the keypad was destroyed by vandalism. Somebody stabbed it. So I've either got to make one or try and just find this part. I looked at these on online and they start at about $900 and go up from there. A brand new one from retail is $2,500 just for a bloody interface panel, which is ridiculous but it's Alan Bradley, so you're going to pay a fortune for it anyway. Uh, remanufacturing company wants $500 each for these blocks, $500 for that, I think it's $250 for the power supply, $100 and something for the basic module. Anything Alan Bradley just has dollars written all over it, but if you want just a second-hand thing like this, you can pick them up for like $30 bucks each off eBay. So they're not bad if you have to replace them with a, just a second-hand one, but if you want something that's remanufactured with warranty, you're talking hundreds of dollars. So yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that one. It does all work, it's all there. I've just got to work out communications with it. It and the PC, and it and the uh, data liner, the display. Because it can all be coupled together and work together. Uh, this just goes to the front panel, but that RS-232 was for the data liner, that RS-232 was for the programming PC. But it also has um, Alan Bradley's own DH-485 network protocol. It looks like an Ethernet port, but it's not. It, you need a, I think it's about a $1,500 module just to convert from Alan Bradley's own protocol, DH485, 
to Ethernet TCP IP. As you can tell, I've been reading a lot of manuals recently. But yeah, I'll post links to the manuals in the description if I remember to. So anyway, I'm just working out the um, bench top here and what goes where. I mean, dummy rounds need to go somewhere. I guess they are dummy rounds. Kind of cool. I'm going to hang them back on the wall somewhere. That's all I've got too. I don't have a nice long belt. I've only got however many's there and that's it. Plus a couple of loose ones. I use one of the links as a key ring. They do make good key rings. So anyway, we've got all that sorted out. I've got new caps in Crunchy here. I'm going to get Crunchy going again and see if it works or not. Um, Dad was nice enough to buy me a tool carry all for my birthday so I'll uh, set up a kit to keep in the car just for when I visit the scrapyard, that sort of thing, site work. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and load Windows 7 on this tonight before I move all this stuff. Uh, this was the smashed or squashed ASUS. I've give, given it a really good clean up and tested everything. Uh, everything works. I put a good hard drive in there. There was no hard drive when I found it. But everything works up to the point where I just haven't, I haven't put a hard drive in it and tried to load an OS. But up to there, everything's fine. So that's really good. The graphics card fan was stuffed, so I'm guessing that was going out on overheat. Uh, that's probably the main problem. It would have been crashing and just stopping because of that. And the CMOS battery is dead, so either it was having probably having two faults and the user just decided to can it. Um, bit of a waste because it's a decent PC. It's got a nice 300 watt delta power supply in it. Um, yeah. So all this stuff's going to get tidied up. That's plan of attack for tonight. Get rid of this stuff. Go through some of that stuff. Probably put the TV in the house until the parts for that show up. Uh, they must be coming via C-mail because it's been a few months now. But I don't know. We'll find out. I'll try and rem remember who sent them. Or if you see this, uh, just let me know what the go is with that. Uh, mount this up there. I've got some electrolysis jobs to do for a friend. Uh, Terry, same guy I work with at work. Uh, he's got some old fridge racks for a car fridge or caravan fridge. And they're pretty nasty, so I'm going to uh, electro electrolytically de-rust and strip them and then he'll send them to powder coating and get all that done. So yeah, I've got a flexi chain off the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the auto saw control cabinet that the PLC came out of. This stuff's really handy. If you've got a continuously moving wiring loom that just moves back and forth, get yourself a length of this stuff. It's not all that expensive, but it's very handy. So anyway, that's about all for tonight. It's pretty terrible weather here. Um, I hope my American friends in New York and just the East Coast in general are alright. I've already heard from a few of them and they're doing well, they just don't have mains power. They're just running off generators and wireless internet, that sort of thing. So I hope everyone's alright. Um, yeah, New Yorkers are tough people along with Americans in general so no doubt they'll recover very well with this, well from this uh, little disaster. Um, yeah, you have my full respect and my condolences to the uh, dead unfortunately. A lot of people lost their lives in that. And uh, yeah, Mother Nature's a cruel hearted bitch. That's all I have to say. We've had a fair share of uh, horrible disasters like fires and floods uh, just as the rest of the world earthquakes and things through Europe, Italy, um, Christchurch, New Zealand almost got flattened recently. Um, yeah, Mother Nature's got a lot of power and you've got to respect that so speaking of power I guess same goes to all my viewers if you're gonna play with uh, electricity and that sort of stuff just play safe. Uh, I had a couple of people ask me really crude questions about how to wire microwave transformers and I simply can't answer them. If you don't know what a primary and secondary winding is, don't do it. Don't mess with power you don't understand. Because it's, yeah, it's pretty serious stuff. Anyway, hope everyone has a fun afternoon. Probably less serious than I am, just cleaning up and trying to organise this place. It's just been too many short runs out here. And not enough time to actually get into clearing it. And since it's been raining, I can't even put anything outside anyway. But once the weather finds up again, I'll move the steel table out and all that stuff and just really pull things out because I want to sell some big engines and stuff like that. I want to sell the Nissan Datsun L18. I want to sell that Yanmar YSE12 marine engine. I want to keep that one, keep that one. 
probably sell the Morris 1100 engine. Uh, that needs to be finished off by someone who has the time and the care. Mainly just needs a spin-on oil filter housing attachment, but I don't know. I should have bought one to begin with. Anyway, we've got to move some big projects, but the trouble is getting people to come and pick the damn things up. I can't deliver. Well, I probably could deliver, but I rarely have the time to, so I'd rather to sell it for a lesser cost and someone comes and picks the damn thing up. Oh well, it's all good fun. And yes, Westinghouse generator soon, I promise. <laughs> Next couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, depending on my workload, I'll at least have the rotor back in there and start reassembling the brushes. So there you go, have fun, stay safe, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I hope my uh, American friends on the East Coast make a full recovery get your power back and can watch some of my videos. I'm sure there'll be some catching up for some of you. <laughs>